Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at one of what must be considered the two icons of Jezur Le Cult of the Valet du Jeu. This is the Jezur Le Cult Master Revi. Now, JLC is the quintessential manufacturer. They make everything, from enamel dials to deep divers to grand complications. There is nothing they haven't built in their 180 plus years in business. But the bottom line is they only have two true icons. The Reverso Rectangular Reversing Watch, which is something of a connoisseur's piece and acquired taste. It's not something that your friends, family, and non-watch geeks immediately find appealing or can relate to. On the other hand, the Memovox, their other signature, is one that everyone can enjoy, whose appeal and practicality is instantly evident to anyone with a wrist and a set of ears. And that's why. Sounding almost as invigorating as a school bell at the last minute of the last period on the last day before summer vacation, this is a welcome companion. And like I said, the appeal and practicality of this watch almost transcends interest in timepieces and luxury watches as a whole. Because it makes the argument for you. It has a voice. It's almost halfway between... Uh, an alarm watch, one could say, and a sonnery or a, a chiming watch, even a minute repeater. It's that bright. This one with the caliber 918 Memovox, introduced in 1983 and phased out in the late 2000s, uses what is still considered JLC's latest chiming technology. There's actually a floating gong in the case back. This technology allows the watch to have far brighter, louder, more resonant alarm tones than other alarm watches that might just beat against the case back or have a hammer that strikes the flanks of the case. Those sound dull, thudding. Sometimes they grind along like a, quote, cricket. Sometimes they sound like a big frog. Sometimes they're actually too faint to even wake you up if you're in a deep sleep. Not this one. This one's going to launch you at the ceiling, especially if it's sitting on something resonant like a hollow dresser when it goes off. This is an alarm watch to wake you up when you're wearing earplugs. It's also a phenomenal timepiece. Having demonstrated the alarm, the next thing you're going to probably want to know is how it feels on the wrist. And it feels a treat. Now this is the Master Revi. So the Master Revi was released in 1994, caliber 918, bi-directional winding with the date. It was the more deluxe of two Master Memovox and Revi models that were sold during the 90s to mid-2000s. The other was the Master Memovox, which did not have a date and was a manual wind. This one is a little bit larger than that. This is 38.5 millimeters stainless steel. So the more deluxe of the two 90s to early 2000s JLC alarm watches is formal, but it has presence. This is not a terribly vintage watch in fit or feel because it does have close to a 40 millimeter diameter and for a formal watch that's fairly substantial this is larger this has a lot more shoulder it has a much more pronounced assertive stance than a classical mid-century caliber 815 or 825 memovox from the old days now those watches although similar in their lines and proportions are not similar in size they are smaller this one's a standout but it does capture that mid-century elegance it's still thin enough to fit under a dress cuff and when i talk about that mid-century elegance specifically i'm talking about the proportions of the dial to the bezel i'm talking about the sculpting of the lugs not just the way they sweep inward from the case flanks but the way they sweep downward from their own shoulders and their own character line that runs alongside the case. You can see the bezel is quite distinct. It does have a pronounced step to it that helps to reduce the visual bulk of the watch, but at the same time, it articulates this area between the crystal and the case flanks so that you step down to it through several character lines that prevent it from looking sloppy or lacking definition. Beyond that, you have a silver dial with a clear inner dial. Now, that inner dial is actually a rotating disc just to explain, it's a rotating disc, you can see that little moving index there, that's used to set the alarm. So not only does it give you definition on the dial and break up that expanse of silver white metal, but it also gives you the ability to set the alarm quite precisely. I would say to about five minutes, that's the resolution of the system. All indexes and numerals are applied material, so nothing is cheap here. This isn't a printed dial. Calibrations are printed, but happily, outboard of each one of them, there's actually a Luminova dot, which is a very nice detail, because a lot of formal watches, especially those in the mid-century elegant mold, don't include loom. Not only does this one include loomed indexes, but it includes loomed Dauphine hands, also part of that 
neo-vintage style, they're also pleasantly visible at night. This is a beautifully detailed dial, and while silver dials and white metals can sometimes seem a little bit chilly and off-putting, the perfect proportions of this watch ensure that it remains warm, it remains endearing, it has a beautiful character to it. Again, looking like a vintage watch, but while maintaining modern proportions and wrist presence. Now, the caliber 918, like I said, was the evolution of the 916, the so-called speed beat that came out in 1969 and ran until about 82, 83. That was the first truly modern Memovox caliber. Bidirectional winding with a jump date, it updated just about everything that was a little bit anachronistic about former Memovox calibers. It still represents technology that's used in the JLC line. It's been succeeded by the caliber 956, but to the ear and on the wrist, there is no difference. This one's just as bright, just as loud as the current Master Memovox. What I feel this one does that the current Master Memovox does not achieve is the perfect proportion of bezel to dial to case. The newer watch, although only 1.5 millimeters larger, does lose in elegance. And in my opinion, when you're talking about a watch that is not explicitly a sports model, the loss of elegance is a substantial, I'm going to say, deficit against its credit. With this watch, you're looking at the perfect proportions. I feel that from 94 to 2004, JLC got it exactly right. And the Master Revi is a great example of that. Also, it's a great example of added value because not only does the current Master Memovox retail for well over $10,000, this one, see it on our website, believe me, is substantially less. But little upscale touches like this old Master Control solid 18 karat rose gold case back individually numbered medallion, they don't include these anymore. And I, I think that was not just a romantic touch, but it was real added value. To have precious metal that only the owner knows is there. Again, 18 karat, the same as their precious metal cases. It also testifies as to this watch's passing of the master control timing standard. This is a fully cased up standard. It's not a test of a bare movement like COSC. I, I extremely strongly encourage anyone out there, heartily encourage you, to go on JLC, to go on the forums, read about the master control process and how that sets a watch apart. Fully cased up, 1,000 hours. This is 42 plus days. This is a comprehensive test of a watch in ways that the bare COSC chronometer test simply doesn't stress a movement and an assembled cased up watch. I feel it's not just a value adder, but it's a real distinction because it's something that a JLC pioneered in the early 90s and worked into its entire lineup with the exception of the Caliber 101 Ladies Watch by 2003. And this was the first generation of Memovox alarm watch to include both the latest crystalline-like gong, that beautiful bright tone that you heard, and the Master 1000 Hours Control Evaluation. So that's what I mean when I say there's added value, not just the precious metal, but also the technology and the quality control that went into the watch and the standards to which it was held. A beautiful reference, it wears wonderfully, it sounds even better. If you want to own an example of JLC's most accessible, appealing, and I feel transcendently appealing, icons, if you want to own something that anyone can appreciate, that brings a smile to anyone's face, the JLC Master Revi is the watch you want.